We know that the novel coronavirus or the COVID-19 pandemic has brought our planet to a complete halt. Trade and commerce, travel and tourism, even doing mundane things like going to a supermarket or eating out or going to the movies, everything has been suspended. Every time one thinks about this pandemic, one cannot help thinking about the wet markets in Wuhan, China, suspected as the origin of the disease. Was it an infected bat that transferred the disease to someone like a shopkeeper or a customer? Or did an infected bat transmit this disease first to a pangolin from where it jumped to humans? We may not be absolutely certain about the origin of COVID-19, but what we know for a fact is that most human disease-causing pathogens came from animals. And when I say most, I mean over 60% of them. This transference of a disease from an animal to human beings is called zoonosis and all such diseases collectively are called zoonotic diseases. All recent epidemics have their origin in animals. For example, the extremely fatal Ebola virus which has killed 11,323 people between 2014 and 2016 in West Africa was transmitted either from bats or non-human primates. The severe acute respiratory syndrome or the SARS epidemic of 2002-03 was caused by civet cats. And the Middle Eastern respiratory syndrome or MERS came from camels. Even the root of influenza or the common flu can be found in birds and pigs. And HIV came from monkeys. The list goes on and on. Yet, zoonotic diseases differ in the way they are transmitted. Dog owners are conscious that their pets need vaccination against rabies. Rabies is spread among humans through a bite of an infected dog. This is called direct transmission. Similarly, influenza which can be transmitted through air or SARS which may have been acquired by meat handlers directly from animals are examples of direct transmission. Direct transmission is when a human acquires an animal disease straight from the infected animal. In contrast, diseases can also be delivered to humans through an intermediary or a vector. Here, the vector like a mosquito is just transporting the pathogen. But the mosquito does not get infected. Instead, it transfers it to a human. The Zika fever is one such example where mosquitoes may have first introduced the virus to humans from monkeys. Or the African sleeping sickness, the microbe of which is transported by the sese fly from wild and domesticated animals to infect humans. With COVID-19, the world is again rattled by a strike from a zoonotic disease. And yet, there is very little introspection about why these diseases are so rapid. The only reason for such outbreaks is human activity. Deforestation has led to serious outbreaks of diseases like Ebola, Zika, Nipah and many others. Ebola is a classic case where scientists suspect that a two-year-old child playing under bat-infested trees was the trigger for the 2014 Ebola outbreak in West Africa. Similarly, Lyme disease which infects 30,000 people in the US has become a major problem because of dwindling population of animals like opossums and chipmunks which control the population of ticks, the main carrier of the disease. Bad sanitation policies have led to an increase in vector-borne zoonotic diseases like dengue and chikungunya. Then, there is the practice of eating wild animals, some of which are consumed raw. COVID-19 and SARS are the two best examples of viruses spreading through this route. And then we have commercial farming of animals, which has made people more susceptible to diseases like bird flu and swine flu. Overexposure of antibiotics on farm animals has increased antibiotic resistance in disease-causing microbes, creating a silent pandemic across the world. WHO estimates that 700,000 people die 
every year because of antimicrobial resistance. This includes multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, which was once a disease of zoonotic nature. COVID-19 is only one of the 200 zoonotic diseases we know of. Many more will emerge because of the severe degradation that we have done to the planet's natural environment. Since the beginning of the 20th century, more people have died due to such diseases than any of the wars, including the world wars. Even as the world prays for a COVID-19 breakthrough, the next microbe aiming to conquer the world is waiting around the corner.